Consider a body which is having an initial velocity of v0 that is at the point A. Let its velocity be v0 and after some time t or after traveling through a distance s let its velocity be v. That is at the point P, let its velocity be V. That T is the time taken to cover this distance S. Then we have average will. So we have distance SC is equal to V average, average velocity into time. Average velocity will always be the arithmetic mean of this initial and final velocity. That is V plus v0 divided by 2 then you should put this time t from the first kinematic equation you know the final velocity will always be v0 plus a t but v equal to v0 plus a t you can substitute this v in here therefore s is equal to this v will become v0 plus a t plus then this v0 v0 divided by 2 into time this will be s is equal to v0 plus v0 will be 2 v0 2 v0 plus a t whole divided by 2 into t that is s is equal to 2 v0 into t therefore 2 v0 t plus a t into t a t square whole divided by 2 that is s is equal to you you can divide this 2 with each of these terms that is 2 v0 t divided by 2 plus a t square divided by 2 therefore s is equal to you can cancel this 2 and 2 the, the term will be v0 t plus half a t square s is equal to v0 t plus half a t square that is our second kinematic equation